Rimstock had a problem. These wheels behind me here were simply not enough. With an increase in orders, they needed to get more wheels through their production, and they turned to Matsura. Adrian, um, thank you very much for the invite here to Rimstock. It's a company I've known for, for many years, actually. Um, but for those that don't know what you do, and they should do by now, can you tell us what you make? Yeah, sure. We, we actually manufacture alloy wheels uh, for normally for the high-end market. And how many would you be making here? I mean, we've got quite a few behind us. Yes, normally we do around the 500 wheels a week, probably around the 25,000 a year. Okay, now just talk us through, before we dive into the detail about the, the problems that Matsura have solved for you, maybe walk us through exactly what you do here at a company from start to finish. Yes, absolutely. We, we buy um, cast log, which is sort of around 7 metres by 10 inches in, in size. We actually cut these logs into billets. We send them through an oven. We heat them up to about 500 degrees. We then rotary forge the billet into a pancake. After the pancake is produced, we then again reheat the pancake up, whereby then we do a, an actual flow forming operation. It's then sent, either we heat treat ourselves or it's sent out for heat treatment, and then we actually then do the final turning, the pre-mill turning, and then we actually send them down to the finishing shop, which is then produced to the final specification of the customer. Very, very impressive. But the reason for, for this, um, this conversation is, is to Talk about what Matsura solved for you. You had a problem here. You can, you can forge and create many more of these than you can actually get through your machine shop. Yes. And you were doing them on three axis machining centers predominantly, weren't you? Yes. But Matsura solved that problem by introducing some equipment to you. What was it and what have they done? The biggest problem we have basically is that we had a variety of different operations uh, during the three axis uh, process. What Matsura have come up with is that we go for a four-axis machining whereby there are, the pallets are fully automated. Therefore, we're able to run the machines without any um, intervention from a, from a man point of view. This allows us to have an OE that is in excess of 90%, which is far better than what we could get from the three-axis vertical machines. Uh, previously, it would probably take us about three weeks to get the product through the, the shop in terms of the machining side due to the various operations. But once we've introduced them onto the four axes, we're able to cut this down to just over two, uh, two weeks. What's it actually now done for the company? We're, we're now almost a year on from when this relationship started. Three machines here now, the third of which is just being installed as we speak. What are the problems it solved? The, the biggest issue was the OEE side and the throughput through the factory. Um, although the cycle times are virtually the same, but the actual, due to the fact that we're able to produce the wheels now in a much shorter time frame, it means that we are able to satisfy customer demands and turn on the requirements much quicker. So when you look at then the business holistically, what will it mean that you can just pump out a lot more wheels? A absolutely, in a much shorter time frame, and that's what we're aiming to do. Now Matsura were, were new to you just over a year ago, how has this year gone when it comes to the relationship and them nurturing you to their technologies? It's been an excellent relationship really because Masura have also offered us a great deal of support on new programs that we're currently quoting for. So this engineering solutions has really helped us to move forward the business. Now you did mention that the cycle time hasn't really changed that much, it's just the efficiency. But for the interest of our audience, how long does it take to machine one of these wheels? Our, our average uh, wheels is around, on the A surface, about six hours worth of cutting. That's the average cycle time. What's the weight of the billet when you start to the weight of the wheel at the end? Roughly? Okay, so the billet on average starts at about 60 kilograms, and we end up with a wheel at about 11 to 12 kilograms. A few final words on Matsura? All I can say is that they've been an excellent partner. They've supported us in a great deal of activities uh, throughout the year. Uh, and it's good to have them on board.